everybody. I just want to tell you before I do this next um, presentation or show or you know whatever you want to call them, uh, this one is dedicated to my Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I love you. Hey again, this is Ken Stanley. Today I'm going to talk about scissors. Scissors, scissors, one could never have too many scissors. That's about it for that, but here we go. Okay, here we are. These are detail scissors. Have a very small blade, but they, you can still get three fingers in, two up front and a thumb. So these cut, um, these are very good for me for cutting um, the wire dressing off of the actual wire itself so I can solder the wire together and um, hook up my track, hook up uh, my lights, anything like that for my garden. Um, they're good for cutting um, little pieces of material. Um, they have about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter blade and they are detailed scissors. The next scissor is a uh, a little bit of a home scissor. This is probably a two inch blade. Has a little bit of the more comfortable uh, opening for your finger. And this is how you hold them. You actually, uh, you might even cut somebody's hair with this. But this is basically a scissor for cutting small coupons out. Or you cut large coupons out, doesn't matter there because you don't want to just have to cut it one time. But if this is the scissors you have, you could use those. And these scissors are about the same as these in use. But we'll see, I'll put the middles down and you can see that this is about another uh, three quarters, maybe a half inch longer. Can you see it there? So this is about a, you know, maybe a two and a half inch blade. And this is the same thing. It's basically a household scissor. And if it had a rounded tip, which I don't have any, that would be a school scissor. So this looks very much like a, like a preschool scissor, except it's sharp, so you don't want to let the kids have it. But you could cut out coupons with this or cut stamps or, you know, you cut anything out of paper. Uh, the next one is a larger pair of scissors which is put two fingers in here and the thumb and that's a very good grip and I could cut any kind of any basically any kind of thing around the house that I need to cut with these and these are household scissors and that's probably a three inch blade now here's another pair of uh, household scissors but it has a, a, a slanted blade and this is I don't know you know I don't know why you need it slanted in case you were cutting up you know cutting a piece of material or something you wanted to see how you were cutting I don't know why they made these and these but they're both comfortable and they're both usable around the house um, the next pair would be this and this is a um, I guess this is basically a cutting uh, paper type thing if you do crafts and stuff these are like craft scissors um, you see this little design here this is what you get on the paper when you cut it so you get edges you can do the outside and it makes it look a little like you're crafty I have no idea um, I don't think they're really dangerous, but um, that's it. Next you have your household scissors, which is a pretty large pair of scissors. This is probably uh, an inch thick right here. This blade is probably an inch thick, and it comes down to the point. And this is for cutting chicken, maybe if you have to cut some... Uh, um, meat or whatever this is the scissors that you would use now you may notice that inside here is a 
a little area there that's got metal inside of it. And the metal are toothed. So you can open, you can take a jar like this, and you can put that around it, and you can twist it off. And then that's, that's it. Here is another pair of kitchen scissors. And this is a straight pair. And this also, can you see that? It has a bottle opener in it. That's cool, isn't it? I mean, if you want to stab yourself, you can have a drink first. Um, and it also has a little nib on the end that I believe was for opening cans. You know, if you had a, a, a can of coffee and it had a, you had to push the lid back in so it would stay sealed, you just stick this underneath and pry it around until the lid came up. This is very handy. I don't, I don't know if we need these nowadays, but this is still the way they make scissors. Okay, that'll be it. Okay, we're back. Right now I want to show you some uh, first aid for people who are not that ambidextrous, um, who can't cut paper without cutting themselves. Um, if you use this type of scissor and you give yourself a cut or you cut off a bone or anything like that, you can use this bandage on just about any part of your body. Um, if it's a bigger cut than this thing needs, you need to dial 911. If you've cut off all your fingers, you need to call the mental institution. All right, so this could go here, it could go up here, it could go anywhere. But that is the large. Um, now we have a smaller thing. That's this is used for around your toes, your fingers, wherever you want a lot of adhesive, but you want the middle to be covered. You know, you can put it on like this. You can put it on however you want, where you need large amounts of adhesive in a smaller uh, band-aid itself. Here's one for using on your fingers, and that's for using on your knuckles, and you just tie it around like that and it holds it in place. Um, this is a very good, I, I find that this one works extremely well for me. Now if you just nick yourself, all you need is a little bandage. You just need a small one like this. Um, you could uh, use this one actually too for if you uh, shave, you could instead of putting toilet paper or paper towel or tissue on your face, you could put this on and pretend it's Halloween. Uh, this is a smaller cut you could put most anywhere. It's good for your fingers if you just want to cover it up real quick on the ends of your fingers because it's you know you can go almost go around and then I have a little bit fatter one and this also goes now this goes here you know it could go up on your arm can go anywhere on your chest your leg wherever you get a, a cut and this is just for the little this is a basic band-aid that covers pretty much all the scratches you get um, outside you know you run into a thorn bush or something you get some scratches on you you may need a couple of these all right so that'll be it we'll go back in the other room and I'll finish up okay well here we go um, you can cut your hair you can go to the liquor store and buy it cut rate you can cut to the quick or you can be a cut above. If you go fishing, here's something I always say. You can fish or cut bait. What the hell's that? All right. You can cut and dry, or it can be cut and dry, or else you can cut it short, cut the mustard, cut to the chase. Cut me some slack. 
cut to the quick. It can be cut and dry as that. That's it. You can tell somebody by the cut of their jib or you can be cutthroat. You can play with cutouts or you can cut and paste. There is a, a thing on diamonds that re, that's referred to as the diamond cut. You can cut weight. You can have the final cut. All right? That was a big album back in the probably late 70s or maybe early 80s. Um, you can cut a fart. A little bit gross, but you can do it. You can cut the calories, cut the carbs, or cut through the information, cut through the confusion. Or, possibly, you're not going to cut it. Or, you can cut something to ribbons. You can cut loose. <laughs> or, if you're learning something, you could be cutting a tooth. Here's a something they made a song about, I don't know when, but it cuts like a knife. Or if you like to dance, you can cut a rug. But anyway, that's probably enough cutting around. That's enough of that. So I'll say until next time, adios muchachos, cut it out.